you may have thought with all the news about it, uh, that the U.S. or the western U.S. was the only place experiencing an extreme drought. However, you would be wrong. Hello, and welcome back to the podcast once again, everybody. This time, still speaking about drought, but in a different location of the world, over in the Middle East. And at the moment, uh, those are the exact conditions that uh, the Mesopotamian region of the Middle East is in, with the uh, two big primary water sources, the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, being between 50 and 70 percent below their normal levels. Obviously, the reduced level is different uh, based on where along the point of the river you're looking. The rivers originate in Turkey, up in the mountains, and flow down through Syria and then through Iraq, where they provide the, uh, the various populations water supplies and also their irrigation water for their farming. Most of it is regional subsistence farming. It's not like the uh, California Valley, where you can wave off a fair bit of it as, uh, as industrial farming. No, these are not uh, large corporations growing nuts and other things for nasty tasting dairy replacements in quotation marks. These are communities and regions uh, growing just their food to feed themselves. And their ability to do so is uh, jeopardized because of the present uh, conditions of the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, in large part uh, being caused by the severe drought in the region, the dryness of which, uh, in Turkey in particular at least, and even in their neighbor Greece, has been resulting in uh, really bad wildfires over the last several months or so over the course of the summer. So the drought is the, the ultimate reason, although there are some other uh, adding or additive factors that are themselves caused by the drought. The drought uh, just causing, in particular, Turkey to make some water withholding decisions, uh, holding back more of the river's flow to try to keep their reservoirs from dropping too quickly, which obviously, since uh, they're where the rivers originate, uh, that's the most upriver region, uh, that, that further lowers or cuts down on the river levels as they pass down through the downriver nations, Syria and Iraq. Now, obviously, that's resulting in even further hardship for the people in uh, their neighbor Syria who've already been dealing with things over the last uh, 10 years or so since the Syria situation started. Now, I believe I did mention before this was one of the, uh, uh, this is one of the particular areas in the world where an actual water war could end up happening in one way or another, with the other potential ones being between India and China, India and Pakistan, or Egypt and Ethiopia. This was one of the few other ones. However, ultimately, uh, probably one of the least likely to happen, simply because all Iraq or Syria could uh, try to make a quick flight dash uh, over the border and bomb some of the dams. Turkey has an actual military, while Syria and Iraq uh, kind of just don't. It's like the Egypt versus Ethiopia comparison. Also, Syria wouldn't really uh, be making any kind of cohesive response anyways, uh, because, you know, the Syria situation is uh, or has become kind of permanent and the country internally is uh, factionized and split like, I don't know, five different ways at this point. So yeah, that's the general uh, quick summation of it. Uh, Euphrates and Tigris are going relatively dry in relative uh, perspective uh, to what, you know, their, their water levels would otherwise normally be, and ultimately is just likely going to result in prolonged suffering uh, as opposed to any kind of actual conflict but I will pray that uh, their normal water levels get restored. Uh, that's it for this one, so thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.